So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yasir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafkahu qawli. Allahumma laka alhamdu kullu. Allahumma laka alhamdu adada qatarul ma'u fil bihar. So, we live in very dangerous, dangerous times in terms of our iman. You see, we all know about the coming of the Mahdi and we all know about the coming of Isa alayhi salatu uh, wasalam. But what, what is less known is that uh, the time before the coming of the Mahdi also is followed by two phases. One is the Malahim. And there are many books of hadith on this issue. Kitabul Malahim and Kitabul Fitan. In fact, Imam Abu Daud, I'll show you very clearly, in his Kitabul Fitan wal Malahim. Malahim means to be butchered, to be destroyed, to be killed. Wailul lil Arab bisharrim qad iqtarab. Woe on the Arabs for the evil that's about to. They will be butchered. Malahim, you know, Malhama uh, means to like butcher something. So there will be a lot of killing. That phase, the wars, right? Which uh, in Christian terminology called the Armageddon, okay? And it doesn't have to be one war, but can be many wars. Now, what is happening in the world today is that the the world is being set up. You know, what does shaitan do? يُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِهِ He divides the man and his wife. So this division, this is his methodology doing things against one another, pitching one group against another group, right? Having, creating disorder, creating disorder. And then when t the time is ready, when the time is ready to create so much disorder that when that time is ready, now it's almost that time. And one of the, one of the, the, the basiras of that, one of the sights of that, that you can see. What happens when you distance yourselves in prayers from your brothers? The Prophet said this, the shayateen, then they come in the middle, right? So now shaitan has a lot more space to play than ever before in the history of mankind, okay? Anyone who would see this scene, you know, I'm not talking about, yes, we're doing precautions, we have no choice, but it's also, we have no choice, the situation we're in, in which shaitan is attaining more and more power. Now, let me share with you something very, very important. Now, in before the mal malhama, the great wars, the phase that we are in now is the phase right before that. And that is the phase of Laylatul Muglima, the dark nights. And the Quran explains this. And I have had a lecture on this, but I want to explain it from the perspective of what's happening now. Because when I explained this last time, this wasn't happening, even though I, the, the, the in, intent is the same. So, let me first mention for you this saying of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Inna baini, okay, the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, Inna baini yaday is sa'a, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, before the last day, there will be commotions, right? Fitnatan, there will be fitnas. It will be like pieces of the dark night. Because why? Because in the dark night, you are forced to stay at home. Because it is a time, no one wants to go out, as the Quran tells us, من شر غاسقين إذا وقب, when the night comes, the evil of that, you stay away from it by being at home, right? So this darkness represents the evil of the outside world, particularly in reference to this uh, hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Before the last day, there will be commotions. You will find a mu'min that will wake up, a person who will wake up mu'min, okay? But evening time, he will be kafir. Because one fitna starts, like this fitna of the coherence or, or the preservation of Quran started, and people are beginning to lose their faith. So, yum, yum si kafira, wa yum si mu'minan wa yusbi kafira. Or he will wake uh, up, uh, he will go to sleep mu'min and wake up kafir. Meaning, this very important. Now, I'll show you this connection. It's very, very important, okay? He, the, one side of the world, and the other side of the world, where it's dark and night, 
So they both wake up, right? At, within 24 hours, news or information reaches both of them, and they both started up as mu'min. One is in the daytime, the other is in the nighttime. And by the, by the switching, because in all of the narrations of this hadith, it is this exact words. And when you connect this with the Quran that talks about this issue, it's the exact same thing. Uh, 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 you will see this. Amruna uh, laylan aw nahara. One side will be day, the other will be the night. And it will happen, boom. Okay? So in Bayna Yaday is Sa'afitnatun Kat il Layla Tul Mudlima, Yusbihu Rajulun fiha Mu'minun, Wayumsi Kafiran, Wayumsi Mu'min, Wayusbi Yusbihu Kafira, Qa idun fiha khayru min al uh al Qa idu fiha khayru min al Qaim uh Qa idu. The one who's sitting there will be better than one that's standing. When does this situation happen? And the one who is walking is better than the one who is running, right? Uh, and then the Prophet says, so break your bows, do not fight. That's what it means. This is not a time to fight each other because th you're going to end up killing innocent people, right? This is a time where you will, the economic situation will be so bad, people will be coming into the, your houses. And this is particularly in reference to if you have no jama'ah, you have no protection because in other narrations of the Prophet, which I'm not going to go through tonight, but the Prophet said over and over again, find protection at that time. Okay? And the Prophet said, uh, 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 Break your bows. Okay? And uh, what? Break your... Uh, uh, you know, um, you, the the string of the of the uh, of the of the darabu siyufakum and break your swords bil hijab fa fa in fa in dukhila yani ala ahad minkum fa yakun khair khair al ibn Adam. Then be like the son of Adam who didn't kill his brother. Okay, and why did one kill the other out of out of envy and greed and out of wanting what the other has. Okay, so now there will be this phase that we're now it's COVID-19. COVID-19 leads to an economic recession. Economic recession leads to all the countries of the world rearranging their loyalties and rearranging their way of thinking. And this is a time also where all the energy in order to save the world Guess what's going to have to have to happen in order to save the world? All the energy will have to go into technology. It will have to go into security and technology and biosecurity, and it will have to go into this because that will be the only way to survive at that at that time. Now, why this will be? I'm not going to go into this, but that's why it that's the way it will have to be if the elite want to survive. The elite will not be able to survive if because the the the, this, the, the, they will not be, because the majority will, uh, you know, the middle class will break. The middle class is going to become the lower class, and the lower class will become impoverished. And so the elite are going to survive on having robots do work for them. And the elite are going to survive on having robots drive their trucks. And the robots do all of their work, and technology do all of their work, and 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 this new technology save their castles and their houses because the rich are going to get richer, and the poor are going to get poorer, and the middle class throughout the whole world will be decimated. Now, what does the Quran say about this? Now, remember this word Laylatul Mudlima. Okay, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says. Okay, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in Surah Al Yunus. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses two phases of human history as I've discussed before. Now, in reference to this, the situation of Laylatul Mudlima and this verse, it becomes very clear. In Nama Mafalul Hayat Dunya, the example of this dunya is Kama in Anzalahu min as Sama is like the water we send down from the sky, Bahtalata bihi nabatul ard, and then it becomes what from the water it comes the nabatat, the, the garden, the, veg, veg, uh, the vegetation, the herbs, and the humans eat of it, and the cattle eat of it. This was the way of human beings until the industrial age. We relied on rain to come, the fruits come, and our economy was an agrarian economy, an economy that was based upon farming, and this was the Ottoman world, and then the industrial revolution comes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
إنما إنما المثل الحياة الدنيا كما إن أنزلناه من السماء فأختلت به نبات الأرض مما يأكل الناس والأنعام حتى إذا أخذت الأرض زحرفها until the earth brings out its ornaments the things that come out of the earth the iron the ore the oil all these things come out of the earth called the industrial revolution what happens was وزينت and it becomes beautiful and when will this reach a peak it is now going to about to, in the next 10 years by the time every technology shifts to the state of Israel by the time all that technology shifts to the state of Israel you will then see all of this reach its peak technology zuyinat by the things that the world has been made so beautiful then what happens as a result of that وذن اهلها انهم قادرون عليها and the people on earth thought they had full control over everything they had every because they were able to build such big buildings such big monuments such great things but in fact they were just helping shaytan reach his end goal okay انهم قادرون عليها اتاها امرنا ليلا او نهارا and our command will come day or night again that same thing day or night فجعلناها صيدا will make it like it wasn't it was like crops it was like crops harvested there's nothing left كان لم تغنونا بالامس as if there was no yesterday ذلك نفصل الايات لقوم يتفكرون Allah says this is how we clarify our verses for a people that think then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says now during this time there will be some do wa Allah yadu ila dar as-salam Allah was calling you to dar as-salam all this time Allah is calling you to the way of peace but you created a way of fasad wa yahdi man yasha ila sirat al-mustaqim and Allah guides to whoever he wills to the straight path then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what lil ladina ahsinu husna wa ziyadataha and for them who have done good is the best reward and ziyada even more than that la yarhaqu wujuhuhum qatar wa la dhilla right and no darkness will cover their faces remember darkness okay and we'll come to that qatar wa la dhilla no humiliation ulaika ashabul jannah hum fiha khalidun they're the people of jannah in it they will remain now the verse that i wanted to show you in reference to what i've said before وَالَّذِينَ كَسَبُوا السَّيِّئَاتِ جَزَاءُ السَّيِّئَاتِ مِثْلُهَا And those people who did evil, they they will earn something evil equal to it. وَتَرْحَقُهُمْ ذِلَّةِ And they will be humiliated. And their darkness will cover their faces. مَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ عَاسِمُ And they will have no protector from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because they didn't go back to that first phase. They stayed in the city that was ذُيِّنَتْ that then gets destroyed. Okay? Instead of going back to the farmland, which is the phase before the everything came out of the earth like as if their faces became overwhelmed okay their pieces uh, pieces of dark night this is what the prophet is saying pieces of dark night when is allah saying this after mentioning that when technology reaches its peak and it all comes down okay this phase where technology is going up okay where technology is now going up where technology is going up at its peak and the zenith is going up at its peak أنهم قادر أذن أهلها أنهم and people think we're in control. We got this under control. We got coronavirus under control. And as everything is reaching its peak because all the investments are being done in technology, and as technology is being made, but in fact it's not going up. Everything is beginning to fall down. And when it reaches its peak, you can say everything falls down as if there was nothing. So right now we're in the beginning of this. phase where on the one side technology is reaching its peak but on the other side everything is falling everything is falling and this chaos will lead to wars and wars will lead to the destruction of malhama okay so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ulaika ashabun nar they are the people of the hellfire hum fiha khalidun this is what the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam you can read the hadith again right in nabayna yaday as-sa'a فتن فتنا كقطع الليل مظلمة 
like the pieces of dark night. And this is a point that Imam Isa brought up to me, one of the brothers I had interviewed, about the similarity of the Qit'u min al mudlima over here and uh, over here, Qit'u min al mudlima over here also. Exact words, exactly the same. And it's talking about the same Pro, the, the, both the, uh, over there it's talking about at the micro level will be happening. There'll be so much fitna, people will be coming to your houses to steal. And you won't know what's right, what's wrong, and who is worth, who's innocent, who's not innocent. So the Prophet said, don't fight back. This, if you don't have a jama'ah, and if you don't have a Muslim village, and if you don't have the power to, to, to secure yourself. Because in other narrations, like I said, the Prophet said, find a way out. From that situation. So I'm not going to talk about that today. I just want to talk about this one piece that ties it all together. Okay? So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says over here, what? Now let me just show you this part again. I can't emphasize this enough. Allah says, the rain comes down, humans are eating from it, the animals are eating from it, until the earth brings out its ornaments, and makes it beautiful. This happened in the industrial age. The earth brought out its ornaments, its, its things, its gold, its iron, its uh, the, uh, the oil, and the different things, and it was made so beautiful. And it's reaching a peak of its beauty. Right? And peach of its power. And they thought they had the power over everything. At that time. Okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will bring it down. But when that chaos starts, that chaos, because the will of Allah is in, uh, is in conformity to his sunnah. Okay? And so this is very important to understand. When... So shaitan is leading humanity to the, the highest peak of technology because they're worried about what's going to happen, right? What's going to happen with COVID-19? How can we be like, it's become an enemy that we have to protect ourselves in the future. So then we have to arrange societies in a certain way. This becomes a perfect scenario where then the, all the money is gone. The nations are bankrupt. The nations begin to fall. They begin to fight with each other. And what happens in that chaos, false messiahs come up, the jazz come up, and they say, look, I have the way out for you. Okay, I have the out way out for, to give you food. I have the way out to give you what you used to have. And I'm going to be the one that will save you. And at that time, uh, people will be willing to give in very easily. So I just wanted to say this for today. As for the spiritual exercises, I don't really have uh, one in mind today because I have to uh, do something important just after, and so my mind is on that. Uh, but we can all, uh, inshallah ta'ala, uh, pray, everyone pray for me and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, give me, show me Allahumma adina al-haq, Allahumma adina al-ashiyah kama hiya, Allah show us things as they really are. Allahumma adina al-haqqa haqqa wa zuqna tiba. O oh Allah, show us the truth as and give us the ability to follow the truth. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa zuqna tiba. Wa arina al-batila batila wa zuqna jtinaba. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show us falsehood as part of this. Falsehood and help us stay away from it, inshallah. Allahumma arina al-ashiyah kama hiya. Allahumma arina al-ashiyah kama hiya. Allah, show us the things as they truly are. Like the way Khidr saw things, the way they truly were. So pray this for me, pray this for yourself, inshallah ta'ala, we end here for today. Aqulu qawli hadha, astaghfirullahi wa lakum, wa li sa'ad al-muslimina wa al-muslimat. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi. Make sure to subscribe today, and make sure you like, and make sure you leave your comments and ideas. Azakumullah khairan, as-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah.